Welcome to the Barrier Management Module Introduction. Um, this module is probably one of the top two or three most extensive modules you will do outside of the capstone courses. Um, in this module, you know, we we're, we're, are trying to, again, I've heard, you've heard me say it many times and you hear me say it many times during this module, you know, the goal is to be different day one. And when you walk into healthcare and you walk into a healthcare facility, you almost have to have almost like a sixth sense about what's going on around you. Uh, most people walk past many things in the environment that are just everyday items um, that they don't think twice about. But as a healthcare facility professional, um, you're going to have a whole different way of walking through buildings particularly after this module. My goal is for you to walk into your facility and to just have sort of a gut feel by, by, by walking down the hallway, you know, whether you're walking by a fire barrier, whether you're walking by a smoke partition or a smoke barrier, you may even get a strong sense of its rating and features, um, even by walking by different doors and entrances. Um, you may even get a sense of knowing whether where the dampers are because very often you'll find that uh, dampers are marked on, on grids in the ceiling, um, on, the, on the ceiling tile grid. Uh, you'll see labels. And again, as you walk down different healthcare facilities, you're going to get a pretty immediate sense of what's going on in that facility. You might even get a strong sense of how, what the maintenance is like in that building. You know, you may see you know, inventory doors and labels. You know, you might even observe very quickly painting on walls and frames and get a, get a, get a feel as you go through stairwells and things like that. And so by the time you finish this module, you're going to sort of start picking up sort of, you may already have it, but you're going to be picking up kind of a, a whole different way of looking at facilities as you walk into them. And that's the goal. And then really from there, start to really sort of crystallize how you're going to manage that environment, how you're going to control, if you will, the environment. And so, you know, while management isn't always about control, when it comes about barrier management, it is more about control than it is not. It is one of those areas where we have to figure out how to get control. And that's really gonna be the objective of this module. We're going to cover uh, barriers in three three parts. We're not going to cover every part of the barriers, but I wanted to cover three very distinct parts of barriers when it comes to barrier management for fire safety. We're going to cover dampers, a very critical component. We're going to cover walls, and we're going to cover doors. That's going to be our real focus through this module. Um, I could have certainly gone into windows and glazing and different type of features, um, you know, roll-up doors or uh, you know different kind of ex other assemblies that also make up fire, but these are the these are the meat, meat and potatoes, and um, and so you're going to go through those modules. In here, there are some assignments. Uh, one of the assignments I want to want I guess forewarn you about right now at the beginning is I'm asking you to do a field trip. Um, you're going to take a checklist. You're going to take that checklist and you're going to find a healthcare facility. I know many of you work in healthcare facilities. Many of you do not work in healthcare facilities. I am going to endeavor. If you don't have a contact at a hospital or a healthcare facility, I am going to endeavor to find you a contact. Now, very critical importance about that assignment. This assignment, you know, while I, I, I kind of do want you to find issues as it relates to fire doors, on the other hand, um, I don't want you to find issues as it relates to doors in these facilities. Um, this is not about pointing out problems. This is about you getting educated. So it's very critical to me that if you do, or if you do use a facility that you are not currently, or even if you are currently working at it, the ideal of this assignment is not to sort of point out problems in your facility. Uh, we want to do this in a very, uh, this is kind of a risky assignment. Um, no one likes to have their, their, their problems in their building pointed out to them. Um, if you do do that, um, make sure it's with the point of contact person only um, you really like HIPAA. I don't want you talking about what you find to other people. Um, you know, there could be a tendency of saying, oh my gosh, guess what I found out about that particular facility or, or this particular, how these people are managing it or not managing it. That's not the goal here. The goal is to educate yourself. So we, to, 
respectfully go into these facilities, um, do your assignment as, 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 uh, as described, submit the assignment and your comments, and this is an academic exercise. This is an academic exercise for your education. Um, I hope that you are in a facility or working with someone who wants the information, who wants the education, and who encourages you to share it. But that is really their decision. It is not your decision, and I hope this makes sense to you. Uh, this is kind of, again, one of those risky kind of assignments, but I think it is something that you going into the physical environment and doing this uh, is, again, it's, it, it's how do we, this is an online class, I get that. Uh, and every so often I ask you to go out there and do something like this, engage the physical environment, because that's what you're gonna be doing many days of your career. And this is one of those assignments I really want you to go out there and engage the physical environment. I hope this makes sense. This is, again, we're gonna try it out. I hope it works. Maybe I'll have to do a different assignment down the road if it does not work, but I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna work because I know you all and you're gonna make it work and you're gonna do it in a, in a fantastic way. So if there's a couple assignments here. There's a written assignment. There's a, a couple, our written summary. Um, again, a couple of other assignments in here, and then there's a quiz at the end that's going to be pretty comprehensive. In the quiz, I give you 90 minutes because you are going to have to go through quite a bit of material. Please take good notes on the lectures and on the material provided. Um, so uh, just again, another forewarning there about this module. I hope you enjoy this module. It did take me quite some time to assemble it. I can't begin to tell you how many hours, but at the end of the day, I think that it gives you um, a person going in for the first time, or even for someone who's been there a while, a very comprehensive understanding of barriers, pretty much unlike anyone probably has ever had, unless you're a life safety person who does fire safety as a career. But outside of that, I think anyone else, if this is what you got the first time you walked into healthcare, you're way ahead of the curve as compared to most anybody else coming into healthcare. I certainly wish I would have had this information obviously prior to going in, like many things that we learn in this course. And so again, good luck. I hope you enjoy it. Again, I appreciate your feedback as we go through and welcome to the barrier management module and uh, have a good time. Thank you.